Drake is one of the most successful musical artists of all time, and he most definitely lives like it. The Toronto native is reportedly worth over $150 million, and with money like that, you're bound to have a few fancy things in your life. Drake's real estate portfolio contains multiple mega mansions with more than enough square footage to do anything you could ever dream of doing. Drake is also known to have an impressive luxury car collection worth millions and millions of dollars that includes multiple rare cars that only someone with his kind of power and wealth can get their hands on. And don't even get me started on his massive private Boeing 767 valued at $185 million. The funny thing about all this is, I'm not even close to being finished. Curious on what Drake could possibly be doing with all that money? Well, then we got you covered. Here is an exclusive inside look at the $150 million lifestyle of Drake. Drake's first big financial success happened all the way back in high school, when he found out that one of his classmates had a dad who was a talent agent for actors. Drake was really interested in getting involved with this, so he got in contact with his classmate's father and auditioned for various acting roles in hopes to be on a TV show one day. After a few months of waiting, Drake got word that he was being casted for a show called Degrassi Next Generation, a Canadian TV show revolving around teen drama in a high school setting. In the show, Drake played a character named Jimmy Brooks, who was the athletic rich kid that was the star of the school's basketball team. He eventually becomes crippled after a terrible accident at the school, and then becomes known as Wheelchair Jimmy. Drake was paid $40,000 a year on Degrassi. After doing that for a bit, Drake later quit the show to pursue music. Within three years of doing music full-time, Drake got his first hit titled Best I Ever Had that eventually peaked at number two on the Billboard charts. Drake's career has been nothing but uphill from there, and he's become one of the biggest musical artists out there right now with unbeatable streaming numbers. So Drake is estimated to earn around 11% for all of his music sales. And according to multiple reports, Drake has sold over $130 million in just albums alone throughout his career. Now, when you put the 11% in the equation, we can estimate that Drake has pocketed about $14,400,000 in total from all five of his studio albums. It's also reported that Drake generated $99,500,000 from all the singles he dropped throughout his career. Once again, Drake only makes about 11% of that. So of all the chart-topping singles he's dropped, he's only pocketed around, oh, you know, $11 million. Now, Drake is also known for doing features every now and then, and according to multiple sources, Drake has generated around $48,775,000 from his features. But since this is split between multiple people, Drake's percentage of the earnings is 3.3% mm, instead of his normal 11%. After doing the math, it comes out that Drake has made just a little bit over $1.6 million off his features. In total, Drake has generated over $278,275,000 in music sales, with his share being around $27 million. Now, don't get me wrong, these are very impressive numbers, but it does really put into perspective on how much these record labels profit off of these artists. Believe it or not though, streams and music sales aren't Drake's main source of income. Touring is. As a matter of fact, Drake makes almost 10 times more off of tours and concerts than he does for making and releasing music for the world to hear. And this goes for just about every musician out there. Other than having to pay employees, travel fees, and of course, taxes, the artist gets to take home the majority of the money when it comes to touring, and Drake is a perfect example to show how profitable this sort of thing really is. Drake's first tour, called the Away From Home Tour, was all the way back in 2010 and generated an astonishing $18 million. It's reported that established artists tend to pocket around 85% of all tour profits. So if we stick to that rule of thumb, Drake earned around $15.3 million just from that tour alone. Yeah. That one tour back in 2010 made Drake more money than half of all of what he earned from sales and streams throughout his entire career so far. Fast forward to 2012, Jake released his album Take Care and planned to do a second tour called the Club Paradise Tour following its release. The tour ended up being the most successful hip hop tour of 2012 and grossed over $42 million. Out of that $42 million, Drake probably pocketed around $35.7 million. Once again, in 2013, 
Drake dropped an album called Nothing Was The Same, and followed it up with a tour called Would You Like A Tour. That tour generated over $46 million, with Drake's take home probably being around $39.1 million. Drake then took a little break from touring, but later bounced back in 2016 to do his fourth tour for his album, Views. This tour was the most successful hip-hop tour of all time, and generated over $85 million. Meaning, Drake probably took home around $72,250,000. That's right, in a little over three months, Drake did 54 shows and made over $72 million. That's over $1.3 million every time he stepped on stage. Incredible. Drake also did a tour recently with Amigos called Aubrey and the Three Migos Tour. The tour generated around $79 million, but we can assume this tour was probably split four ways. If this was the case, we can estimate that Drake made about $16,787,500 off this tour. In total, Drake has allegedly made around $179,137,500 off of touring alone. Keep in mind though, Drake spends a lot of that money as well, and that the total amount I just gave is before taxes. So a large portion of that basically disappears. In addition to music sales and touring, Drake reportedly also makes a nice amount of cash from various investments and endorsements. Although a lot of these situations are really low-key, we do know that Drake has been endorsed by Sprite and Jordan Sneakers. It's unknown how much he makes off of these endorsements, but since it's Drake, we can probably assume it's a lot of money. Drake also owns a brand called OVO, which stands for October's Very Own. It's a record label and a clothing line, as well as a music festival. Once again, it's unknown how much Drake earns from this, but we can only assume it's a lot of money. Keep in mind though that there are a lot of people involved in the OVO operation, so the profits are probably split multiple ways. Overall, Drake has made well over $200 million throughout his impressive music career, and has been reported to be worth over $150 million by Forbes magazine. But now, let's get into how Drake spends all of this massive fortune. One thing that Drake seems to love are his mansions. Drake's first notable real estate purchase was his $7.7 .7 million home in Hidden Hills, California back in 2012. This house was originally worth an incredible $27 million, but Drake managed to purchase the home for $7.7 .7 million after the original owner was going through a very low point in his life and needed the cash as soon as possible. This house is now nicknamed the Yolo Estate, and it's around 12,500 square feet in total. The house is equipped with a massive swimming pool with water slides and caves. Just around the corner from the pool, there's a huge tennis slash basketball court, as well as a mechanical bowl and six horse stables for horses that Drake doesn't even have. Oh, and there's a 25 seat movie theater as well. A few years later, in 2015, Drake bought the house right next door to his for a cool $2,850,000. This house is a 4,445 square foot house with four bedrooms and five bathrooms, all sitting on a 1.6 acre lot with an additional 800 square foot guest house in the back. It was also reported that in 2018, Drake bought the other house on the other side of his other house for $4.5 million. This house is only 2,449 square feet with three bedrooms and two and a half baths, but it was the final piece to Drake's compound. Drake now owns an entire cul-de-sac in the luxurious Hidden Hills neighborhood of Los Angeles, with 6.5 acres of land in total. With the way Los Angeles' real estate market is going, those properties are going to be worth a lot of money one day. Very smart move by Drake. But in addition to his three homes in Hidden Hills, Drake also has some real estate back in Toronto. According to multiple sources, Drake has recently been living in a fancy luxury apartment on the 52nd floor of a high-rise building in downtown Toronto. I have no idea if Drake owns the property or if he's just renting it, but I do know why he's staying there. Drake is staying there temporarily until his 35,000 square foot mega mansion is done being built. Yeah, you heard that correctly. Back in 2016, Drake paid around $6.7 million for a piece of land in the high-class neighborhood of Brittle Path in Toronto. On that land, Drake teamed up with a high-class architect named Firas Rafuli to build a massive 35,000 square foot mansion. Inside the mansion, there's apparently going to be an indoor basketball court, an indoor swimming pool, a music lounge for impromptu concerts, and a snack room filled with Drake's favorite snacks. 
The final price of this mansion is unknown, but man, that cannot be cheap. Drake is also known for his incredible one-of-a-kind car collection. His collection contains cars such as the Rolls-Royce Wraith, the Rolls-Royce Phantom, the Mercedes Maybach G650 Lundali, and even more impressive cars. One of those cars is a yellow Ferrari LaFerrari. The LaFerrari is a limited production hybrid sports car that Drake purchased from Fusion Luxury Motors for $3.5 million. Drake's LaFerrari is customized with a rare Giallo Modena paint with an Alcantara black and white seats and yellow deviated stitching. It also has yellow brake calipers and a carbon fiber body trim. Drake loves this car so much that he had a replica of it made to fly around the stadium during his tour with Amigos. Drake also has a McLaren 675LT, being one of the first to purchase the rare car back in 2016. He also posted pictures of his Lamborghini Aventador Roadster on his Instagram with Batman references in his captions, with one of them being, like I'm Christian Bale. Drake has also been seen riding around with his mom in his 62S Maybach Landoli, and also has the most exclusive special edition of a Bugatti called the Veyron Saint Noir. Drake gets all of his cars imported and customized by Tony Bett, the CEO of Driving Emotions back in Toronto. Now, even though Drake has an incredible car collection, it must not have been enough for the Grammy award-winning artist, because as of recently, it was reported that Drake got his hands on a private Boeing 767 jet plane. This plane is coated in a nice baby blue paint with Drake's signature OVO owl on the side of it, as well as Air Drake written on the side of this massive plane. Inside the plane is a bunch of comfy seating, as well as a nice gold finished interior. The Air Drake is apparently valued at around $185 million, and the internet went absolutely wild when they heard the news. Everyone assumed Drake bought this impressive piece of machinery, but TMZ later revealed that Drake actually got the 23-year-old refurbished plane for free from a Canadian airline company called Cargo Jet in hopes to gain a lot of publicity for their company. Now, they did get a lot of publicity for this, but was it $185 million worth? I don't know. It was a generous gift regardless. Another thing that Drake likes to spend his money on is jewelry. One of his most notable pieces of jewelry is his OVO owl chain. The chain consists of 40 carats of ice blue, canary yellow, and white VVS diamonds, and was custom made by the world famous jeweler Ben Baller. This chain cost Drake around $120,000. Drake also got a chain made in honor of one of his favorite brands, Stone Island. Drake's custom Stone Island chain is a combination of black, green, and canary yellow diamonds, along with 880 grams of gold. This chain is reportedly worth around $100,000. Another chain Drake is known to have is an OVO O chain that is completely covered in VVS diamonds. Drake also got a custom diamond and gold Scorpion medallion in honor of his latest album called Scorpion. I think it's also worth noting that according to GQ, Drake has one of the best Rolex collections they've ever seen. I don't even want to know how much that costs. Overall, Drake's $150 million lifestyle is one that everyone dreams of living. It's a luxurious lifestyle filled with private jets, gigantic mansions, fancy vacations, fast exotic cars, expensive clothes, and jewelry all on top of that. Basically, you can do whatever you want, whenever you want. In all fairness though, Drake has worked extremely hard to get where he is, and it's safe to say that it's all pretty well deserved. So everyone remember, if Drake can go from wheelchair Jimmy to a $150 million mega superstar, then you can do anything. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please make sure to hit that like button and hit subscribe to see more videos like this one. Also, click the notification bell to be notified when we upload. This is a new series on the channel, so feel free to comment any suggestions on who you want to see a finance video on next. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter as well, at Pluggy underscore. That's all I have for today. I'm out.